right, folks, making a quick YouTube video. Um, oh, hello. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Please give me some answers to what's going on. If you find this in a forum, blog, uh, Google search, or I sent you the link directly. But help me figure out what's going on. So uh, this is only going to be a quick video. I was planning on taking this apart and uh, fixing it, putting it back together and giving you a step-by-step -step solution. But since it didn't work out that way, I'm just going to show you what's been going on so far. And hopefully somebody knows how to fix it. If somebody knows how to fix it, then just leave a comment below. Tell me what you need to do to uh, get this fixed. But um, all right, so here we go. Unplug the battery up in the front did that first because you're working with the airbag and you don't want that to go off in your face because it's pretty powerful so I unplugged the power to the battery then I went and got one of these things it's one of them it's the one two three it goes into this third slot right there so I took this and uh, down here is two holes. One goes in right here. Let's zoom in. Yeah. One goes right here on the bottom. Or the left or the right. Whatever you want to call it. And the other goes in on this side. Let's see if I can find it. Yeah, down there. Right there. Oh, you can still see it. Okay. So, that's still in there. I unplugged it, or screwed it, loosened it up. Then I was able to pop this off. Once you pop the airbag off, it's two coils connecting to the, this thing back here. The clock spring sensor. So, I put that in last year. And uh, it's been working good for... Let's see, it's about to be summer again, so it's been working good for at least eight months. Uh, I put some info in the description in this video or the next video, but that side screw comes out right here. A little hexagon type of thing. This is a clock spring sensor that I put in last year, still working fine. So here are my problems. Well, first the solution was when I put this clock spring sensor in, plugged it up, hooked it up, this horn worked, which had not been working for a couple of, a couple of summers. But I fixed it, the horn worked. Second thing was, my cruise control worked. And let's see, I just moved the, oh here it is. This thing, the cruise control, this worked just by buying a new clock spring sensor and putting it in properly. This worked and you push it in pull it down to set it, push it in, pull it up to accelerate. This, these two things that work by replacing the clock spring sensor. And I was ecstatic, ecstatic for, like I said, eight months. But now what's going on is the airbag probably works. I've been accident on one too, but probably still works, but the horn works. But now, oh, and a little benefit my radio control started working so this clock spring sensor fixed three things one two and the cruise control but now the problem i run into is the cruise control isn't working so i took this apart and wanted to look to see if these connections were connected this little orange these little orange tabs go on here too but and it's easy to know which ones they go to because it hooks right up to an orange and black. Right there, orange and black. So it's easy to get those connected to the right ones. So I unplugged it, saw that it was loose a little bit, just a little bit right here. This yellow tab was not pushed in all the way. So I took it apart, hooked it up, pushed it in more snugly where it fit. It was flush and went and hooked the battery back up and pulled it out, turned on the engine, 
and the cruise control still did not work. So my next step was messing around with this little thing. So maybe this is where I have a question to you, the viewer that's watching this video right now. If I buy a new one of this piece that I just unscrewed from here and here with these two, two simple Phillip heads, Let's see, let me put this back. It actually goes in this way. Then pulls out right there. So that's how, that's how it went. So I unplugged it, I unscrewed it to see if this connector was not connected, maybe like these two. But that wasn't the issue, it was connected securely. And I still don't know what's going on to why my cruise control doesn't work. So I'm considering buying a new one of these since this clock spring has not failed with the horn or the uh, cruise control, I mean, or the, um, the volume controls. And the volume controls is this wire right here. And it goes into the right side. This left side, I'm not sure. It probably, uh, it probably goes to the you know, sends a signal to the airbag and the horn. So one's probably the airbag, one's probably the horn. Those two are connected. But this thing right here was connected. I unplugged it, it didn't fix anything. I'm thinking maybe I just need to get a new one of these units since this clock spring is still kind of working. And this clock spring, this wire that goes to this uh, cruise control is this, you can't really see it, but this wire right here, it goes up and then it goes into the right side. So this right side goes to this and this, and it works. This left side, this one side and that's the other side. This left side goes to the airbag and it works. So I'm thinking maybe I need to buy a new one of whatever this is. Maybe this button is just not functioning right and needs a new one. On the back of it, it's got some sort of cord. Hey. Maybe I should unscrew this and see what's in here. Maybe something's not connected there. Anyway, I'm in this video right now. It's been less than 10 minutes. And uh, I don't know what's going on, folks. So um, hopefully I'll upload another video that says what has worked. If it was this thing, if I order a new one of these. But so far, I'm just stuck. Trying not to spend any money. Wanted to just come in here and just... You know rehook up something and my cruise control be working but it didn't work that way so back to the internet for help if anybody watches these videos you know comment subscribe leave a comment email me something let me know and uh i'll let you know how to fix this issue all right next i plug this little screw looked at the inside it's a lot of grease and it's three little Oops, sorry. Three little prongs right here. Autofocus. Yeah, three little prongs. The third one was uh, not exactly level with the other two, so I bent it up a little bit. Hopefully that fixes it. Now, I mean, it wasn't even nothing really wrong with it to be fixed, so I don't think that's going to fix it. But now this little spring in here. I'm putting the light. Put it in the light. This little spring and three brass things. But that's this. Whatever this is called.
The broken part to even work. So let's think about doing stuff on camera. I just I don't think. Get in the hole. Okay, alright. Now that that's in the hole. Now I'll screw this back in. Phillips said, find the hole once again. <sighs> now let's plug this battery back up. and tight. <sighs> All right, door ajar is on. Let's see. Horn works. Let's see if this cruise control works. I should have put the hood down. So at least I could have been optimistic about uh, this thing working. Okay, well, I didn't hit that right, but let's hit this um, button, see if it works. Nope, still does not work. I don't know what's going on, folks. Okay, so that's off. Let's turn it on. Okay, so the knob controls work. Volume. The horn works. But the cruise control doesn't work. Nothing. I think I'm about to buy another one of these things. I think. Oh, snap. It's starting to rain outside. All right, I don't know what's going on, but uh, that's the issue. If you know, comment, subscribe. Should I buy a new one of these or should I buy a whole new clock spring to get this to working? I think I need to get one of these.